the Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition. Hey guys, driving with Stu here again for another one, and we've brought you out to beautiful Florence Lake, BC to showcase this Jeep Gladiator Mojave. We're about an hour outside of my hometown, Langley, and I thought it was a perfect place to showcase this because these are the exact terrains, sandy, bumpy off-road trails that you're gonna be facing with the Mojave Edition. Today, we're gonna to cover everything that goes into the Mojave package, everything that I love about this Jeep, and some of my complaints about the Jeep as well. So let's get into it. Starting off at the front here with Jeep's iconic seven slotted grill. I think Jeep made a really good play here of keeping that classic heritage on the Gladiator that everybody's come to know. It gives it a really rugged military look and feel to the Jeep. And I think it looks really great with the set of upgraded wheels and tires, even the wheels and tires that are on this one right now. On either side of the grill, you're gonna find the Jeep classic round headlights, only now they're upgraded to the LED package. Now, if you're looking for a Jeep Gladiator or a Wrangler, I would definitely opt for the LED lighting group, if at all possible. Uh, very bright headlights, they come in super handy, especially in those dark nighttime driving situations. You're gonna want the LEDs. This Gladiator is also equipped with your front off-road camera. This is really great when you're out wheeling, you don't have a spotter, you can really get a close-up view on those rocks and obstructions in front of you without getting out of your Jeep. You can get perfect tire placement. They even put little grid lines on the screen for you so you know exactly where you're going without having to get out of the Jeep. Great feature. Come up to the single scoop Mojave hood. I love the look of this hood. Jeep did a great job here, and I really like how it differentiates itself from all the other Gladiator trims that are available. On the side of the hood here, we've got the Mojave badging in that signature orange. Great look to it, big, bold styling and font, and you'll find the orange everywhere throughout this Jeep on badging, stitching, interior. Really great look to that hood, and you know this is a Mojave Gladiator. One thing I love that they've kept from the Rubicon package are these Highline fender flares. You'll notice that these fender flares are one inch higher in the Rubicon and Mojave than all the other Gladiator trims. This is gonna allow you as much clearance as possible inside that wheel well for wheel articulation. Inside the wheel well, we've got this beautiful 17 inch upgraded off-road wheel right from factory. Myself personally, I like this wheel a little bit better than the original one that comes stock on the Mojave, but I mean to each their own. Let me know your preference in the comments below. Now on that 17 inch rim, we're wrapped in a Falcon Wild Peak AT. This is a mountain snowflake rated tire. So if you're a local BC guy like myself and you're gonna be hitting the Coquihalla Highway, these are gonna be safe and legal to drive with during the wintertime months. All right, now let's talk about the features that make up the Mojave package. Over on the driver's side, you'll notice the desert rated badge. This is a little bit different from the other gladiators. They all wear the trail rated badge. This has the desert rated badge to signify it is designed to go fast in four wheel drive, especially in those sandy desert style situations, the sand dunes, um, high speed off-road trails, those kind of things. And that's Jeep's way of saying, hey, we've made a pre-runner truck right from factory ready to go for you. The most important feature of the Jeep Mojave are the Fox Performance Dual Reservoir shocks. Now, if you're not familiar with dual reservoir, this is gonna give you an extra tube allowing for more fluid volume. You're gonna need that when you're doing the high frequency off-road bumps of sand dunes, and you're gonna need that shock to reset to its original position much faster. The dual reservoir shocks deliver just that for you. And you'll see Jeep has added this beefy skid plate up front. This is to protect the reservoir as well as the other steering components when you're smashing through the dunes. Now in the back, you're gonna find the dual reservoir set up only in a piggyback configuration for the rear suspension. Jeep also throws in the Fox hydraulic bump stops. You're gonna find these in place of the rubber ones found in the other Gladiator models, including the Rubicon. This is a great feature for off-road. It's gonna help reduce the impact of those big heavy bumps, and it's gonna make for a much smoother ride. Also, 
They've added the cast iron steering knuckles. These are fantastic. Huge upgrade from the aluminum ones found on the other Gladiators. These are gonna give you increased performance and rigidity in those very tough off-road situations and high speed four x four terrains. All right, now let's talk protection. I'm talking about these rock rails going down either side of the Mojave. This is gonna protect the Mojave. Let's say you slip off a rock and you come down this is gonna protect those body panels from getting all dented up. We've also got a transfer case, fuel tank, transmission, and suspension skid plate to protect you when you're having fun off-road. All right, so let's talk about Jeep Gladiator's pickup box. Comes in really handy on your off-road rig when you're loading up the camping gear and supplies, but my only complaint with the Gladiator's box is the small size. I think that's a place where Ranger and Tacoma really get us in the quarter ton truck space because they have different cab configurations getting you closer to that six foot box. That being said, you might make do with this, especially putting the tailgate down, and you actually get an extra 12 to 14 inches of width over the Ranger and Tacoma. So that's a pretty huge benefit there. So looking at the tailgate of the Mojave, I really like this look. We've got the big Jeep badge on the back with the Mojave orange outlining those letters. I love that. Backup camera integrated as well. And this is an aluminum tailgate, so very easy to open and operate. It's also dampened and it's very light as well. We've got some functional heavy duty tow hooks coming out of the back. Pull out your Ford, Toyota and Chev buddies. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, they come in handy for any kind of off-road situation where you got somebody stuck and you need to use them. In between those tow hooks, we have our class four hitch receiver and we've also got our trailer wiring. Now with the Mojave package, you get up to 6,000 pounds towing with the eight speed automatic transmission. That's a decent sized boat or camping trailer. You'll be able to take those to the lake in the summer months and enjoy. Now one little Easter egg Jeep added here was this tire tread design on the back of the box and it's kind of reminiscent of a dirt bike tire. To give you a little guide of where your dirt bike tire is gonna go, I really like it. I think it kind of breaks things up and it takes you away from the boring stuff you see on every other truck. So great job on that. So compared to the Rubicon package, we do miss out on a couple things with the Mojave. We don't have our locking front differential and we don't have the front sway bar disconnect. What we do have is a locking rear differential. Cool thing about this one, you can lock it in four wheel drive high. Can't do that on the Rubicon or any other Gladiator trim. This is gonna come in handy in the high speed four wheel drive situations. A great feature offered on the Mojave. One thing we should definitely touch on on all Gladiators versus the competition is the solid front and rear axles. With a solid axle, you're gonna get much better performance and strength off-road versus the independent CV axles you'll find in the Ford Ranger, Toyota Tacoma, and the GMC Canyon. If you're an avid off-roader already, you've probably heard of friends, they have the independent CV axles and they have issues breaking down off-road. This is the last thing you want when you're 20 kilometers into the bush. I would suggest if you're gonna be a hardcore off-roader, strongly consider a quarter ton truck with solid axles. Coming inside the Mojave, we have our orange stitching on the dash, door panels, steering wheel, and even stitched into the seats. The center stack is laid out very clean and simple. When you're using the different functions, you'll notice the materials feel very rugged and that of abrasion resistant materials you'll find on camping gear. I really like that. You've got an 8.4 inch touchscreen with navigation that's also connected to your nine speaker Alpine sound system with the factory sub. Now I love the Alpine sound system. I wouldn't upgrade it personally unless you wanna really increase that bass, but I think the sound system sounds amazing just as it is right from the factory. We have the analog buttons for the heated seats, heated steering wheel and climate controls that you can also find on screen. I like having the buttons handy they're easy to find. You don't really have to take your eyes off the road too much, so that's a nice feature. The knobs for the volume, channel, and climate fan, they've got a nice feel to them as well. They've got a rubberized coating on the outside. It looks great, feels great. We have our power window controls, and we also have a media hub, so we can plug in our devices there. Now, just below that, we have our axle locker and our off-road plus. We also have our manual 4x4 shifter 
If it doesn't have that, in my opinion, it's not a true Jeep. Off-road enthusiasts love the 4x4 shifter, really nice. And they've stitched it, they've cleaned it up, and they've added some nice aluminum trim on both shifters to give it a really modern and upgraded look. Another cool feature on the Mojave is the thick steering wheel that you'll only find in this package. It's nice and thick, got a good feel in the hand, and it's even got a nice little perforation on the grip. I love the feel, stitching looks great, and you're really gonna be able to get a hold of that steering wheel when you're going fast off-road. Now the seats in the Mojave look really nice. They've got a high quality feel to them. I love the Mojave stitching in the back of the seat all throughout here as well. But one complaint I have is they could be a little bit more comfortable. They're not terrible, don't get me wrong, but Jeep could have added a little bit more support, a little bit more cushioning in the seats, especially the lumbar. Really long drives is where I noticed that. I had a 2020 Jeep Wrangler, but for everyday use, I didn't really have a complaint about the seats. Check it out for yourself. I'd suggest scheduling a test drive at your local dealer. Get a feel for the comfort of these seats and see if it makes sense for you. You probably won't have an issue. Well guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you got some value from today's review, the Gladiator Mojave, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to Driving with Stu. I'm also located here in Langley, BC, Canada. So if you want my help with a beautiful Gladiator like this and you're a Canadian resident, please reach out. I've left my contact info in the description below. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and have an amazing day. Driving with Stu, out.